Hello Sagittarius, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising in Venus and it will be from the 28th of December 2020 to the 3rd of January 2021. So I wish you a happy new year Sagittarius. I hope you have a lovely ha new year and uh, let's get straight into your reading. So I'm going to pull three cards. I'm going to do a mini reading this week because it's just been one of those crazy weeks for me. <laughs> but nevertheless, if it's meant to resonate for you, it will. So first card is your challenge. Second card is advice from spirit. Third card is the outcome should you take the advice. And then I'm going to pull a final oracle card. Okay, we'll clarify if we need to as well. So what do we have for Sagittarius, please? Angel Spirits Guides. What is the message, please, for the week that Sagittarius needs to hear the most? Okay, interesting. <laughs> the two cards have um, turned over. So we've got the Nine of Swords in your challenge, but we have that with the Fool. Page of Wands is the advice from Spirit. And I've pulled two cards here as well. <laughs> the Seven of Cups with the Ace of Wands. Love the energy, Sagittarius. Uh, you know, bottom of the deck, I did look, so I'm going to put it down as the Nine of Pentacles. Okay, Sagittarius, so your challenge. Stress, anxiety, worry. Feeling like everything's getting on top of you. This is mental energy with the swords, how we perceive something, our thought patterns, our mental perspective. And it's when we focus on the negative, it can spiral with out of control very quickly, distorting our reality. There's sometimes an energy if things aren't always as bad as they seem. It's how the mind can just magnify things in this energy. But there's a reason absolutely for you to feel like this. It feels like there's been some stress, anxiety, worry. I mean, it could be to do with money, career, here. Yeah. Could also be to do with um, if you're liberating yourself from something. You know, because the fool can be a card of new beginnings, liberation. So if you're setting foot on a new path in whichever life area, that can be for that as well. You know, uh, some stress, anxiety, worry. It could well be partly the unknown here, Sagittarius. But the fool is also telling you that even though you've gone through a lot of stress, anxiety, whatever this is for you, you're going to soon liberate yourself from that. You're going to soon step foot on a new path. It feels very uplifting, the Fool energy. The Fool carries very little baggage. He liberates himself from the past cycle. You know, he starts with a completely clean slate, ready to step foot on a new path. Now, it's either the thought of something new is filling you with some stress, anxiety, worry. But I also feel that you're being told here, you're going to liberate your, yourself from that which has caused you a lot of stress. Upset. So, and it's a major arcana energy. So this is the big influence. Um, and that's what you're being told. The major arcana are the big influences. The minor arcana, more the supportive energies, day-to-day -day energies, uh, tactical energies, whereas the big energies are the majors. So it definitely feels like there's some big release coming your way. That's definitely what I'm feeling. Because the page of wands is good news. Could be good news to do with an opportunity. Feels that way. This can also be a free spirit energy as well. Sagittarius being ready to take action towards a new path. The pages represent the beginnings of something new, the beginnings of change. But definitely for some of you, it could be some news coming your way to do with some kind of opportunity. Um, very beautiful energy. Because the seven of cups is your hopes, dreams and wishes. And again, the Ace of Wands is an energy of some news to do with a specific opportunity coming your way. And it's very much in line with your hopes, dreams and wishes. Uh, I love the energy of this, you know, but the energy of this is beautiful. This can sometimes be about choices, having more choices than you realise. But it definitely feels for you there's one opportunity 
one direction, one course of action that you're very clear in terms of taking. And this is the beginnings of growth. Um, this can be an inspired action card ready to open a new door. And you can see the, the wand is beginning to sprout. It's given to you by the hand of God the divine. You know, the aces are all part of destiny. So it definitely feels for some of you, you might be making some kind of choice decision to do with some kind of opportunity coming into you or a door that needs to be opened and um, some inspired action that you're taking towards the new path, next, next level path, turning the page, call it what you will. But it is exciting. It is in line with your energy, it's fire energy. It's the power of fire, feeling empowered. Um, on what this Ace of Wands is presenting to you. And if you take care of this Ace of Wands, if you nurture it, plant it, you know, plant it, nurture it, uh, keep taking action towards it, this promise is growth long-term with a castle at the end. So this, this is the path, it definitely feels like it's linked with some success. Because the Nine of Pentacles, in terms of money and career, Sagittarius, is success coming your way. The Nine of Pentacles is somebody who understands practically by practically working hard how to fulfill their potential now it can be an entrepreneurial energy if you're starting your own business it's very good obviously in terms of money and career if there's some opportunity being offered to you and um, it can be a card of independence as well if you've been liberating yourself from someone or liberating yourself from a situation that has been stressful it feels that this is you standing in your own self-worth, self-abundance, the self-sustaining energy. I have everything that I need to make me feel content and good about myself and my situation. So this is an energy of, yeah, you're going to be okay on your own. Um, absolutely beautiful energy, the Nine of Pentacles. It's a great feel-good energy. Um, and it's somebody who is very connected, who understands how to bring growth yeah how to bring growth in their own right so lovely lovely energy there Sagittarius I love this reading it feels such promise I have to say so I'm going to pull one more card yeah <laughs> I literally turned the card and I've got look the ladybird all of your manifestation manifesting positive thoughts and visualizations have been heard and I've got crane surrender let go of limiting beliefs be as expansive in your thoughts as in your soul. You know, I just feel that that is appropriate for you. So I'm going to put those down, Sagittarius, and leave it at that because it feels right. Sometimes where I cut the cards is just as important as the cards on the table. I love the energy here. So I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful week for you. Happy New Year and I will see you next time. Thank you.